Welcome to Southern Arizona VA Healthcare System. We are excited to tell you about our amazing residency programs. The Southern Arizona VA is an integrated healthcare system with over 250 beds and multiple primary care and specialty clinics right on the main campus in Tucson, Arizona. We also have several community outpatient clinics located in Tucson's outlying areas. The PGY-1 residency program was first accredited in 1984 and accepts eight residents. The PGY-2 Oncology Residency Program was accredited in 2010 and accepts one PGY-2 resident. Both programs are based on the main campus in Tucson, Arizona. Our PGY-1 Residency Program offers experiences in acute care medicine, primary care, critical care, pharmacy operations, and three electives during the year, such as mental health, infectious disease, academia, oncology, geriatrics, and even informatics. The PGY-1 Residency Longitudinal Experiential Activities include a longitudinal primary care clinic, which is half a day per week, an anticoagulation clinic, weekend staffing, as well as a variety of administrative experiences. The PGY-2 Oncology Pharmacy Residency offers experiences in outpatient oncology, surgical oncology, inpatient oncology, bone marrow transplant, hospice and palliative care in addition to the therapeutic drug monitoring, drug information, and drug policy development for the hematology and oncology clinic. The PGY-2 Oncology Residency offers two electives during the year such as hematology, academia, and residents may even repeat an experience in any area of interest. Hi, I'm Stephanie Davis. I'm the PGA-1 Residency Director at the Southern Arizona VA Healthcare System in Tucson, Arizona. Our ASHP accredited program was established in 1984. Since that time, we've grown from one position to eight. Every year, our residents give us feedback and list our preceptors as one of the many strengths in our program. We have over 50 preceptors that will be here to support you through the year. As residents, you'll be our newest members of the pharmacy team, and we learn from each other and work together to provide optimal patient care to our veterans who have served their country. When an individual comes to the program, they bring with them different experiences, different strengths, and professional goals. We tailor the program to help you meet your professional goals and the PGY-1 residency requirements. As a resident, you will have a blend of both acute care and ambulatory care learning experiences. A couple of those experiences you actually repeat twice. This provides you and your preceptors the opportunity to see your growth in clinical skills, confidence, and increased independence. How we customize this is providing three electives, the opportunity to choose doing your weekly clinic at either the main station or the CBOCs, which is a community outreach-based clinics. Other areas and examples would be selecting a research project within your area of interest and having the opportunity to do electives before the mid-year meeting if you're considering a PGY2 program. As an RPD, it is amazing to watch each resident transform from a new grad to a confident pharmacist. It is astonishing to see and is a highlight of the residency year. Our program will offer you the opportunity to join seven co-residents and a great team of preceptors and pharmacy staff as your first step in your career. We thank you for your interest in the Southern Arizona VA Healthcare System PGY-1 program please feel free to reach out to me via email or with one of the current residents if you have any further questions. Hello, my name is Megan Banaszynski and I am the current PGY2 Oncology Pharmacy Residency Director at the Southern Arizona VA Healthcare System. I have been the RPD since 2018 and I am one of the two clinical pharmacy specialists in the hematology and oncology clinic at the VA. We have been an accredited program from ASHP since 2010. The goals of this PGY-2 Oncology Pharmacy Residency are to provide specialized training in oncology to develop the skills necessary to ensure optimal drug therapy to cancer patients, as well as to analyze and evaluate information to provide to other healthcare providers. 
This PGY2 Oncology Pharmacy Residency provides a well-rounded experience in acute and ambulatory care oncology, surgical oncology, bone marrow transplant, as well as palliative and hospice care. The resident will work closely with established pharmacy clinicians, oncologists, nurses, and other healthcare providers to provide patient-centered care to our veterans. The clinical pharmacy specialists here at this VA have scopes of practice to provide supportive care to our oncology patients, which the resident will work within. Upon completion of this program, the resident will have the skills and experience necessary to practice in a variety of oncology settings, as well as be prepared to attain board certification in oncology pharmacy practice. Why did you choose this residency? I was actually fortunate enough to have two of my fourth year pharmacy school rotations here at the Southern Arizona VA, and I absolutely fell in love with this residency program. Um, the pharmacists here are so integrated into the care teams, both inpatient and outpatient, and truly empowered to practice at the top of their license. Uh, the preceptors are also amazing. Most of them completed their residency here, and so they know exactly what we're going through and are always so eager to help. Um, and uh, finally, I love that we have such a large residency class. Um, I get to learn from my uh, co-residents every single day, so it's great. I chose this residency program because when I was here as a student for my appy rotations, I felt that my preceptors were really engaged, they were passionate at what they do, and they were really invested in my learning. After pharmacy school, I knew I wanted to continue to serve veterans and go to a residency that offer electives in my interests, which is psych and infectious disease. So I felt that my great experience here and overall my goals aligned well with this residency program is ultimately the reasons why I chose to do my residency here. I chose this pharmacy residency program because of the wide variety of experiences that it offers. And with these, I knew that I would be prepared for any type of work afterwards. And especially after I met the preceptors on my interview, I knew that the preceptors would fully invest in training me to become one of their colleagues. And a few months into residency, they still hold me to these high standards and help me grow professionally. What are you enjoying the most about residency so far? There's a couple of things I'm enjoying a lot about this residency. One of them is how flexible they are. There's three electives that are set up throughout the year. If you have an interest in one of the electives and they don't have one currently, then they allow you to create one. So one of my interests is transgender health. And we don't currently have an elective, but the program director and uh, other pharmacists are helping me to create this elective and so, because I'm interested in it. Another thing I really appreciate about this residency is work-life balance. So I feel like they maximize my time here but at the same time, they allow me time outside to recharge, so while I'm here, I get the most out of uh, my residency experience. What I've enjoyed most about residency so far is seeing how integrated pharmacy is within both the inpatient and outpatient settings. Uh, when helping my primary care patients, it's really fulfilling to uh, have consistent communication with them and be able to make any medication changes that are needed on the spot uh, due to the progressive scope of practice we hear at the VA that we have at the VA. And I've also really loved rounding with the internal medicine teaching teams and infectious disease consult service. Um, interprofessional collaboration is truly what optimizes patient care and I'm really grateful that this residency provides these experiences. Why did you choose this PGY2 oncology pharmacy residency? I chose this PGY2 oncology pharmacy residency because You'll have many opportunities to learn about both oncologic and hematological disorders. And I also wanted to work with a larger scope of practice and have a big impact on patients and their families. What have you enjoyed the most of your PGY2 oncology pharmacy residency? I've enjoyed the most working in the outpatient infusion center because you're able to establish a rapport with both the fellows, the nurses, and the patients. And at the VA, you work with a very supportive group of healthcare uh, providers where they want you to equally succeed as well as you know, providing the best care to our veterans. 
What are the application qualifications and requirements for the pharmacy residency programs? Application qualifications include U.S. citizenship, doctor of pharmacy degree from ACPE accredited school of pharmacy, pharmacist licensure in any of the United States within 90 days of the residency start date, and participation in the national matching service and forecast. The PGY-2 oncology residency application qualifications would also include the completion of an ASHP accredited PGY-1 pharmacy residency. What are the core rotations? The core required rotations for the PGY-1 program are primary care, acute care medicine, critical care, and pharmacy operations. Please refer to the PGY-1 website for more details. The core required rotations for the PGY-2 program include outpatient oncology, hematology and oncology consults, bone marrow transplant, and palliative and hospice care. Please refer to the PGY-2 website for more details. What are the staffing requirements for each residency program? PGY-1 staffing is generally one weekend each month plus one holiday and provide weekend inpatient pharmacist coverage. Staffing consists of two residents working together to perform the clinical and distributive functions of a pharmacist. PGY-2 staffing includes half of one morning each week for 10 weeks in the inpatient pharmacy for chemotherapy verification and preparation. Is it possible to speak with a current pharmacy resident? Of course, please just email the residency program directors and a current resident can directly reach out to you. What to do in Tucson? Tucson is home to the University of Arizona. If you're into college sports, the university has 21 athletic programs with Wildcats playing mainly different sports to watch. This mid-sized city offers big city amenities with a smaller town feel. Tucson offers mountains in every direction. You're quite literally surrounded by five minor ranges of mountains. With 350 days of sunshine a year, Tucson offers fantastic weather, national parks, forests, and deserts providing the perfect environment for tons of outdoor activities such as golfing, rock climbing, bird watching, astronomy, and cave exploration. Tucson is a biking paradise. The city has won numerous awards when it comes to biking. You can also find great hiking trails within the city limits. After all the outdoor activities, you'll be happy to know Tucson has a huge variety of restaurants. The various downtown Tucson restaurants each offer unique atmospheres and span the gamut with food choices. Thank you for watching!